Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZP TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video and today I'm really excited to bring you one of our brand new matrixes, part of our new matrix uh, series that we have coming out. It is the BG 4K 88MA. That's an eight by eight matrix, eight inputs to eight outputs. We're also in part of the line that's gonna be a four by four as well as a 16 by 16. So uh, we're really excited about these new 4K matrices that are coming out. They're very easy to use. They're gonna be a great fit for your environment. So today we're just going to be talking about the 8x8. This is a fantastic unit, supports up to 4K at 60 at 444, chroma sampling. There's multiple ways to control this unit. You, of course, you got the IR remote, you have the front panel push buttons, uh, you have the web GUI, RS-232 if you're looking to send some serial commands, as well as using our switch control app that's available on iPad, uh, Windows, Mac, all the devices you're looking to control the unit. So for today's demonstration, we're going to just jump in, uh, we're going to get onto the network as you can see we have it already set up we have eight sources going to eight of our eight out of our nine tvs on our wall here uh, so first thing we're going to do is get this bad boy on the network so we make it very easy to control so let's dive in so first things first i plug this into our network connected to our dhcp uh, server here so we have it pulling an ip address already but we got to turn it on in the unit so i'm going to go ahead and hit the menu button i'm going to go down to setup hit enter, I'll go down to network, enter, and then DHCP actually was on. So I actually pulled an IP address of 192.168.30.79 that is obviously open on our network right now. So, um, so I'm gonna dive into the computer and log into the interface. 179 and boom, here is our interface. Log in, of course, admin and admin, and boom, here we are. So, like most of our matrixes, uh, the interface looks pretty similar. Your first page is your status page. You have all the information, firmware, IP. Um, you can ha even has the temperature of the unit, if it's getting too hot or not. Um, but let's go dive into something more intense. So you got your presets, um, pretty self-explanatory if you wanna set your presets, make it easier for switching. So here, matrix, here is where all the fun happens. So as you can see, um, we have all of our um, status on each output. And then also, what's really cool about this unit is the ease of audio matrixing. Uh, this unit obviously does audio matrixing where you can matrix your audio, um, audio on different outputs. Uh, this audio, this unit also supports audio de-embedding. So if you're looking to extract audio, um, it, you can do that on the back digitally or through analog. There's a couple connectors on the back there. And on this page, it makes it very easy to select um, if you want your everything to follow. You have your source your, and your video. I'm sorry, you have your source and your audio on each output. You could do that. But um, if you're looking to uh, you know, do video only on one of them, like on, um, for instance, on output, Put TV one, which is output one. I have right now. I have the food video, but also the uh, the BZB gear audio from the media player. So I, I matrix is there, right there. But if you have any questions on that, give us a call. Um, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory, but you can really just either select the video, audio, or mix it together. So um, so for instance, output one. I could just go through. If I click on the sources, you can see output one. It takes just one or two seconds to switch. I'm gonna put Blu-ray now on output put one, I got my PS4 now there. And then if I wanna do output two, maybe we'll move the Chromecast there. You can see, and then output three, let's just do my my Xbox. As you can see, they're all kinda just matrixing around. There it goes. And then, so it makes it really easy just to pick your output and then select your source, like any sort of matrix. But if you're looking to get it back to kind of default, which is uh, point to point, um, I just click this button here, PTP, hit OK, and then that'll put everything back to point to point. So that's how simple it is from the, uh, the interface here. Um, so going down the list, your input tab is where you uh, select all your input settings. You, you can see I went, already went through and changed all the input names so I know which, what, what's what. Um, you also can adjust your EDID there. There's a lot of options there from 4K all the way down to 1080p. All the different, it supports HDR, different audio channels, uh, and so forth. 
you got your outputs. So here you can label each output if your TV is all spread out, like if you're um, maybe in a hospital or like a casino or even a hall, you could say like ballroom two or um, you know hallway one or something. You, you, you can label that right there. Um, you have a lot of options for your uh, output setting mode. You can downscale from 4K um, if you're looking to adjust to the, um, the source. You can do that as well. You can follow the sync. Um, same with HDR and then also uh, HTCP. If you're having some issues there, I would check this option right there. Um, this unit also supports ARC. Um, so if you're looking to extract the audio from a, a smart TV, you can do that right here. You can turn off your audio and also turn off your stream. Or sorry, you can mute your audio if you need to. Um, here's another audio matrixing page, um, and this is where you can actually individually adjust the sound from each when you're extracting the audio. You can adjust the sound here, um, and you can select a good audio matrix, and you can select where the audio is coming from. So, like say output four, um, if I want like the, the I want the arc, I want the audio to come from my arc. I could do it right there, and it makes it really easy. And you guys some CEC control and then network if you can shut up your settings. And then as always, you got your system set, your, your basic system settings. I like to turn off the beep. That's really loud. Um, but if you're on a loud setting, it's it's useful. Factory set, firmware update, and so forth. So as you can see, it, it is just like most of our matrixes, uh, really easy to use. Well, there you have it, GearHeads. Another great matrix from BZB Gear. Like I mentioned, there will be a four by four and a 16 by 16 matrix. So if you have more or less inputs and outputs, we got you covered. As always, if you have any questions, feedbacks, comments, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Don't forget to hit up any of our sales associates. I'm sure they'd love to chat with you about how this would be a great fit for your environment. Or if you have any technical issues, hit us up at support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out. And as always, have a great day.